standalone VR today. At XRDC, the Extended Reality Developers Conference, the power of the goggle goes beyond fun and games. The lead engineer at Microsoft's Mixed Reality Academy is using this technology to brainstorm ideas. This allows me to more fluently just like, here we go, here's an idea, here's a thought. I don't have to think about my interactions in order for this to um, express my creativity. Now, signing your name by hand has been around for centuries. AirSig is trying to change that by allowing it in VR and AR. Show me how it's done in AirSig. His signature was approved. I watched what he did. I'm going to forge that. Failed. I have to be exact, right? I can't do it. The startup Lightform is showing what it can do with a $700 projected augmented reality system. It can use almost any surface for an interactive display. That means signage and advertisements can be transformed into an immersive experience for customers without having to wear special goggles. We ultimately envision that there could be you know, projection systems all over a space like this that could cover, basically turn any surface into a display. The founder of software company Ractiv says one of XR technology's growing markets is training. Initially, when I started Ractiv, was focused on more of these cinematic kind of game experiences, but a lot of the requests I got were for training. And that's what started paying the bills, and so that's what you know, motivated me to do more and more of it. And so I think VR has you know, really great potential for training because of the ability to fully immerse you in another situation and feel like you're really there. Perry's virtual reality programs often put users in high-stress situations. As a certified first aid and CPR instructor, he believes the technology has the potential to revolutionize medical training. We're using a real physical training mannequin that you might use in a CPR class. But we've got trackers on that, we've got trackers on your hand, so that when you, you know, go to perform CPR on that uh, person, you're not seeing that mannequin, you're seeing what looks like a real you know, human being and you're feeling that physical sensation. There's a lot of panic going on, people are freaking out. Um, it really gets that adrenaline up and it really tests to see, do you still remember the basics that you learned in class uh, when you know, you're under pressure? In a new tech age where parents and society worry about overstimulation, some believe if used in the right way, extended reality also has the potential to de-stress and set the mind free. Mark News, CGTN, San Francisco.